Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Isabel and this is day 3 of my Port Cristo holiday which was probably the best day of my life so far as I got to go to Rafa Nadal's museum slash academy and I also got to explore Manacor. It was very fun, I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay so when I first got up in the morning I got dressed, I wore this cute little jumpsuit and then we went actually to um, a little spa, like a shop around the corner from where we were stay in um just to get some like drinks and stuff like that because we didn't know if they'd have it at the museum um and then on the way there they were delivering a boat and it was being escorted by the police it was very cool i respect the man driving that lorry that was carrying that boat because that was a nice boat and he was taking it down some very little street and then when we got back we booked a taxi and we set off to the academy and the drive was actually really pretty as well so we didn't actually book our tickets but when we got there we just walked in to like where the shop is um but there was a desk and there was a lady there and we said can we have two tickets to like go around the museum so we just got them when we were there uh we had to wait about maybe 15 minutes until it was like our slot and then they do like a speech like they tell you what to expect as you go through where you're allowed to film and not allowed to film all the staff there was so lovely while we were waiting we were actually allowed to go into the like restaurant part um and like you can see all of like the academy it was so cool look oh. get him on screen oh he's like look at baby <laughs> oh my god Iconic, yes he is. <laughs> Okay, so the first bit that you go through is actually some like virtual reality game things. Um, I didn't film in there because there was children in there um, and I was trying not to film them. There was lots of different games, some were height restricted and I wasn't tall enough to play some of them but that doesn't bother me because I was mainly here to look at all of the Nadal stuff. So yeah, we walked through into this bit where they had like this full wall of like information about him and then in the clips in a second um, it'll be some of his like trophies and bats, like actual tennis rackets. Okay, so first we've got the Barcelona award, and I mean, how incredible does that look with a little guy playing tennis on top? Um, the, I can't pronounce that, World Sports Award. Um, these were incredible to see. Oh, the Sportsmanship Awards. How cool is that? I honestly could not stop looking at them, they're just so cool. And in the background of this clip you can actually see his Olympics outfit when he was the flag bearer. Okay, so these are all of the tennis rackets, so there's a whole like long kind of case of them. Um, all different tennis players, like some ones I was like, oh my god, <laughs> like John McEnroe, come on, like, and I love that they're all like, like some of them are like kind of pristine looking and some of them look like proper messed up, like that one for example. Um, Rod Leva, oh my god, I just keep like remembering them all. Oh, it's so precious. And then there was this TV screen, now all these like clips I've muted, I didn't know if they would get copyrighted with like the video. And also, it was a museum, it was like a, you know, a place the people want to go. A lot of languages, all being spoken very loudly over each other, so it was quite distracting. That one was insane. That video was, like, adorable. Um, so then you go down these stairs and into the proper, like, museum. So you've got all of his outfits with his shoes, well, his t-shirts with his shoes. That green one, I can't really... Don't really know if you can tell but it has clay on it still like there i don't think they're washed um and then you walk a bit further around and you've got all of the trophies this like honestly i don't think you understand the amount of medals and trophies that this man has like they just kept going and going and going um so i think these ones are like the bigger ones mainly um in this like cabinet i mean look how incredible they look 
those like signs say that they're not there and that they're being worked on but actually they were just in some different cases so they are somewhere else that i thought was a cardboard cut out it's interactive it like moves and it smiles at you and it was freaking me out it was it felt like i was looking at a doll got some of his outfits and his shoes this is incredible these are the olympic medals oh my god they're so cool um i won't lie some of these cases i'm like putting my arm above my head to record because they were high up so i couldn't really see all of the stuff in the top ones but you get the gist do you see what i mean it just goes on and on and on there's so many of them like they just keep going <laughs> i love that little picture in his shoe <laughs> all of them they're so gorgeous and these were the what i seemed doing this the roma ones because i just really liked how those ones looked those look cool as well actually there's so many even watching it back i'm like oh my god i love that dolphin one i think that's indiana wells yeah it is I, if it is a dolphin it might be a whale or something i'm actually not sure what the animal is but it's cool either way I think that, that was 2000 and he started professionally playing in something like 2000 and, 2001, I'm not sure. Okay, this bit is insane. So these are like some of his biggest matches. They've got like their designated spaces. And after this clip, I'm going to put in a clip of me reacting to him winning this match from my Instagram story, which by the way, you can follow at underscore as well, underscore, underscore, Jones, underscore. This is Wimbledon. It wasn't that long ago that I rewatched it actually, this one. Um, I believe 2008 and it was the first Evan and All match I ever watched. Oh my god, it was so... <laughs> I still rewatch that every now and again. Got the US Open. And then Roland Garros, and I'll again put a clip of me reacting to it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yes! <laughs> then you go into like, there's it's still the same room. But um, it's just, like in a different area, it's kind of there's a bit for football. So there's these football seats and like footballs, trophies. La Liga is the Spanish league, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's some information there, but I didn't really pay much attention. I didn't get what that was. I'm not a football person. I'm a tennis person. I've been told though. Hold on. I've been told that that is an Almira shirt <laughs> or kit or whatever. I don't know what that one is. And then Messi's kit with his shoes and the football. Um, signed by a few people, I think, it seems. Uh, I, is that an F1 car? Who knows? It looks cool either way. So these are incredible so this is roger federer's old um like kit is it a tennis kit i never really know if you say outfit or kit or whatever but um some really cool stuff like it's not just tennis if you're thinking about going like usain bolt stuff was in there johan blake like incredible sports people have let nadal put their stuff in his um what's it called museum <laughs> got 
Maria Sharapova and Novak Djokovic, um, their outfits and a racket. I don't know who's the racket is. I don't know the significance of all the tennis balls because I'll be honest, that was a lot of little writing and that I did not bother to read. But I believe they're the Olympic torches from when he's been to the Olympics. There were some things that seemed missing, unless they're the... Oh, no, they're hung up. So that was their helmets and then an outfit. So they were, I believe, racing car ones. And then as you move further around, there's one that is... Um, what's the word for it? For motorbike racing. And I didn't realise at first, but you can tell because all down one side is like torn to shreds. It's so this one here, you can see, I don't know if they came off it, but um, it doesn't look good. We've got some like actual cyclist things as well. Uh, a bike. Tiger Woods' tennis stuff. Like, obviously there's other guys' stuff there as well, but I think that's Tiger Woods' top. Some basketball players' shoes, and oh my god, they were massive. Like, absolutely massive. I think it's the other guy's shoes, but uh, that's LeBron James's top up there. Jordan. That was another interactive thing, and it kept speaking, and it freaked me out. <laughs> I think that was a synchronized swimming uh, leotard thing. Honestly, I mainly went for the uh, the tennis stuff, so I don't know much about all this, but um, there's a gold medal there in the back that you can see as well. Someone gave Nadal their 1969 gold medal. <laughs> then uh, after we'd done all that, we went back outside and we had something to eat. Um, whilst we were looking at that view. Then we actually walked around the academy, don't know if we were meant to do this or not, but um, there was nobody telling us to stop. And yeah, I didn't film a lot though because there was a lot of people training and I didn't want to like annoy them or anything like that. And then we left, I did buy a, a Nadal top and a, what's the thing, One of the, a lanyard. Um, but then we left and we went and had a little explore around at Manacore. It was actually really pretty there. It was a lot louder than Porto Cristo, um, but you would expect that with it being like the main city in that area. There was these hats with like these tassels on, I don't know if they were there for a reason, I don't know if they have been some kind of festival or something, but I really liked them, they were cute. That is the church, oh my god, I do know the name of it, it's the longest name of a church I've ever heard. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it for you, it is the Paraquia de la Mare de Dude, honestly, longest thing on earth. I can't, I can't pronounce it. We went down all these little like side roads because we were walking to the centre. We went to this little shop. I didn't actually know I was filming this clip. I thought I'd turned my camera off, but the the like fruit in there was really nice, and it was just like lots of fresh produce. So there was, um, you know, all your fruits and your veggies. There was like a meat counter, um, there was a bakery in the back bit of it, some fridges there, you can see. Look, those hat things were everywhere, like absolutely everywhere. Then we finally found our way like properly into the centre. I love those verandas with all the shutters, they're so cute. I would like you to cast your attention to that man painting a wall up a ladder on one leg. <laughs> so this is the church up close. As you can see, we got a lot closer to it than that video before. 
it's so detailed honestly it's really pretty this tree in the center i don't know if it was for a festival again i don't know it could have been anything but they had all these things hung up in the branches and it was absolutely gorgeous So cute. Mom, have you seen it tree? I loved this pink building. It just looks so aesthetic, so cute. Look who I found. Promoting you to wear some sunscreen in the pharmacy window. And there he is again. So this is where we stopped to eat. I will put the name of the place in because I can't remember off the top of my head what it was called. Lovely people there. Then, so this is once we got back to Porto Cristo, but we um, got off and walked down to the supermarket just to have a look. So this is what a Spanish supermarket looks like if you're interested, if you've never been to one before. Um, it was actually massive um, and it had a lot of different stuff in there. we walked back um it didn't take very long i mean actually it took longer than it would have if we didn't keep stopping to take pictures of things um but it wouldn't have been a very long walk I loved all the like colours. Okay, this river will feature in um, an upcoming video. Not in the next one, but the one after. This is a mural by, again, I'll put it on the screen because I did find out who did it. Same with these steps as well. I think it was the same artist that did them. Um, and I really like them, they're so cute. <laughs> then we got back, I had an outfit change and we went on a little walk. We're gonna walk along this path, up those steps, round and to there. So basically we walked up to some shops and then we came back down and then I took some pictures and videos as you can see of the boats. I love how like everything reflects in the water. This is in the lift, so 
Usually they had the weather on the bottom as well, but they um, they tell you facts about things. They are in Spanish though, so if you're English you can't read it. And then another outfit change for the night. Um, this night we went somewhere else though to eat because where we'd been going was shut. Walking down to get food, there was the most gorgeous sunset. Like, look at that. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. And the boat. I love how everything just reflects in that water. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And this is walking back once it's gone dark and they have all the lights lighting everything up. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, that is it for this video. In the next video, I go to the beach and I swim in the water. It was beginning of May, so bear in mind it was absolutely freezing cold. Um, so that'll be fun for you to watch if you watch the next video, which you can do by subscribing and turning post notifications on So you'll see when I post the next video like comment and subscribe Like I just said comment if you're a fan of tennis if you're an Nadal fan. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye